In this video, I will explain how to solve the violation of broken functionality policy. Okay, let's see. So actually, uh, the main reason for the issue, there are three things. One is app that don't install, app that install but don't load, app that load but are not responsive. Actually, this is the most of the developers are facing the issue in apps that load but are not responsive and some of the buttons and some of the uh, menus are uh, not working properly so if you are for example uh, let me show you the one screenshot so actually i have one search button but in the search button i have all the deleted button but there is no use for the deleted button that's why google uh, reject my application for this is a broken functionality issue the main thing is you have to uh, if you are adding any uh, text or any search box or any things it's, it's working properly and with suppose if you have any search suppose if you have search box but it not working it not working properly then google surely will reject your application so you have to just remind yourself if any of the buttons not working just just remove the button because google strongly checking the every application sorry every text box every link and every menus if any one of the menus is not working then they are finish then they are then they are definitely remove our application so here they are mentioned that that the the delete button is not working this is the major is actually this is the reason for reject my application for broken function DC. so when the user click this button it's not working so uh, users are uh, very uh, confusing but google right, but google not accept this that's why they are reject the application for violation of broken function DC. so after the rejection i have just removed the deleted button and now after that i get the approval for then I get a IAC library notice. Actually, two times I get a rejection mail. So the one is um, violation of misleading client policy. The, the behind the reason is I wrongly, right, wrongly means uh, I add some extra description. That's why they are reject the description. So after that I will correct the error. So they are expecting the description for related to the exact application. So before the uh, before uh, one year before uh, Google accept any description, but now the Google is uh, step by step read the uh, each and every things. So we have to uh, submit the original data. If we are type any mistakes or anything, then Google will reject our application. So you have to put in under exact definition about your application so this is the first one this is the second one after fix the application again i am my application is getting rejected the one is violation of broken function this again i get the same issue but the, this time i get the different type of this actually this is the, my application home page when my home page is open sometimes the internet is uh, maybe very slow that time the application is showing very blank so uh, google reject my application so for this for this i have give the one solution for after that i add the just loading icon uh, suppose the internet is very slow uh, it automatically prompt like uh, the internet is very slow or uh, or show the one loading icon we have we have not show the empty screen instead of we have we have to show the some actions like the loading icon or uh, it will show the the interaction is uh, the internet connection is not working you have to display some things uh, then only google accept the things the main things you did not show the empty page or the empty actions the, this is the major reason for the broken function design. so the end of the video i will give the two two session two tips for that. the one is never show the empty page if your application sometimes show the empty page then surely Google will reject your application. And the second one thing is, uh, you have to test your application. In in some of the pages, then maybe the button is not working. Then Google will surely reject your reject your application. Then don't uh, fix your button in very corner. If you are fixing your button in very corner at the end of the page, then maybe you are getting the responsive issue. So you have to add some padding. 
in the point both of uh, four four corner then only so you have to use the padding for getting the responsive so i hope you have got some idea and finally i actually i am from tamil nadu so i am not good in english if you have any doubt or um, if you are facing any issue or if you want help just uh, comment below or you, have, you can directly uh, call call the number this is my personal number this is my website here you can get my number so if you have any doubt just uh, mail or contact so this is my mail address thank you thanks for watching